Why don't three-phase motors need capacitors like single-phase motors? If you've been working with motors for a while, you already know that single-phase motors almost always need a starting or running capacitor, but when you open up a three-phase motor, there's nothing. So what's going on? It all comes down to the fundamental difference between single-phase and three-phase power. In a single-phase system, you only have one alternating voltage waveform, meaning the magnetic field produced in the stator pulsates back and forth rather than rotating. That's a problem because an induction motor needs a rotating magnetic field to start. The solution? A capacitor. By introducing a capacitor in the auxiliary winding, we create a phase shift, effectively generating a second phase and producing the necessary rotating field to get the motor running. But in a three-phase system, we don't have this issue. The three-phase power supply inherently provides three alternating currents, each 120 degrees out of phase. This naturally generates a rotating magnetic field without any additional components. There is no pulsation or need for artificial phase shifting, just a smooth, continuous rotation. This is also why three-phase motors are inherently self-starting, whereas single-phase induction motors require external starting mechanisms. The balanced three-phase system eliminates the need for capacitors. Now, you might be thinking, wait, I've seen capacitors connected to three-phase motors before. That's true, but those capacitors aren't for starting the motor. They're for power factor correction. Large industrial motors often introduce inductive reactants, which lowers the power factor. Capacitors are installed in these cases to compensate for reactive power and improve overall efficiency, but they have nothing to do with motor operation itself. If this breakdown was useful, hit the like button. Thanks for supporting me.